Hey, Sausage Sleuth, it's me, the Sausage Sleuth Joe. Welcome back to a new Nancy Drew Let's Play series. Once again, never played this one. Nancy Drew, Treasure in the Royal Tower. I'm excited for this one. This is what, y'all Y'all confirmed the fourth Nancy Drew game to ever come out, so it's an oldie. I have to tell you, I was working on balancing the audio levels for this video. They're all over the place. Um, sometimes it sounds like people are screaming, Sometimes it sounds like they're whispering and there's really no in between. So we're going to have to work with what we have. Hi New there. game. It's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time It's Nancy Drew, if you didn't know. Treasure we're going to go ahead and click on Junior dear Detective. George. So much for oh, dear George. Vacation. I arrived here at Winford Castle last night just before a blizzard swept in. A castle? It's completely shut down and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. See, it's, she sounds really soft, but it's it'll be loud later. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. Not the owner of the castle is my father's friend. I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was some. Uh, girl, you're gonna get murdered. Oh, this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. I'm determined to enjoy myself. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, I'm seeing some things here. This is like the Winchester Mansion. <laughs> Not Jacques Brunet! Why does he look like he belongs in a boy band? An early 2000s boy band. Okay, I've, there's a lot to unpack here. And the first... What? Oh! Oh, we were riding that just fucking now? To George? Wickford Castle room key. Room 205. Here's my return when you check out. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a castle in Wisconsin? Was someone the king and queen of Wisconsin? Is that what that is? Is that what that means? Can I be the king of Wisconsin? <laughs> Vacation room at locker 310. Oh, I'll write this down. I don't have a to-do list. I don't have a checklist in this one, do I? Locker 310. Five, one. Maybe Nancy will remember this, but y'all know me. I love to write a, to write a thing down. And she's not keeping it. Is that a knife? Probably a letter opener. It's an un and an unpaid bill. She hasn't been playing paying her Netflix. I better look at the... That's the fire route. What's that sound in my room? We'll get to that in a minute. Hairbrush, wallet... Baby back ribs. That's a good... That's a good price. All you can eat fried chicken drumsticks for $10? If I went to a castle, if I were staying in a resort castle and they were trying to serve me fried bologna sandwich for $7.25, I would burn the castle down. I would burn the entire castle down if I went to stay at a castle resort and this was their menu. Better than nothing broccoli surprise, anchovy heaven, something smoking chili cheese dog. But I will say, they got me. They reeled me back in with the all-you-can-eat fried chicken drumsticks. I will say that. And the white cheddar ice cream log. That pulled me right back in. We're back in the game. That's the moment. Okay, well, Nancy has boring clothes. We've established that several times. Can't look in the mirror because she's a vampire. That sounds like a radiator. Like the radiator is 
See, she's whispering here, but then once we get in a conversation, she's going to be screaming. The people will be screaming at us. Also, if your radiator's leaking, isn't that explosion? Doesn't that mean explosion? What's in her bag? Sassy Detective. Did they finally put me in Sassy Detective magazine? Oh, oh, I know all about fingerprints. I can do this. That's gonna, I'm gonna need that later. I'm seeing the clicking isn't as intuitive in this one. There's an ice machine somewhere. I'm, I'm noticing that. This is, I'm sorry, this is cheap ass looking for a fucking resort. How do I leave? Oh, is that a closet? Oh, that must be a closet. Okay. This is made out of stucco. <laughs> this, wait a second. This castle's made out of stucco. Like. No, this is drywall with a textured paint surface. This is cheap. This is drywall with a textured paint surface. Where's the exit? Oh, oh, thank God there's an elevator. This is like the elevator where Lizzie kissed Gordo. I better tell someone about my radiator, I guess, because that usually means the building's going to blow up, quite frankly. This, this game is very specific on where you have to click is something I've noticed so far. Is this going to be a game that I get lost in? Because y'all know I get lost very easily. Do y'all know where the front desk is? Oh. Uh, y'all, I'm just looking for the front desk. Oh. It kind of turned for... Oh, that looks front desky. Can I go... This is a library. This looks front desky. <gasps> Perfect. He's peeking me. Hold on. <laughs> Hello, Miss Drew. See, now Did it's you get loud. squared away upstairs? Now it's loud. This is actually what I look like without the filters. <laughs> without the filters and the baseball caps! No! Uh, Miss, this is Mr. Egan. My room's charming. Yeah, let's talk about yes, the radiator. Thanks, Mr. It's gonna Egan. blow up. My room is charming. But I think there's something wrong with my radiator. It hisses, and there's a clanging noise, too. Would you mind checking it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away. And around here, it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. Last time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day. And now, to make matters worse, there have been a couple of... incidents. Murders. He means murders. Oh, I'm going to play this card. The owner, Christy Lane, is a friend of my father's. I nothing serious. The owner, Christy Lane, is a friend of my father's. And I know how My much father he invented the toaster castle. strudel. Everything's under control. Is there something else, Miss Drew? Mr. Egan, you seem very worried. I'm sure my father, the inventor of the toaster strudel, wouldn't be very happy about the way that you're running this castle. Mr. Egan, you seem very worried. Someone vandalized our historic library. Really turned the place upside whoa, down. Whoa, whoa. The owner, Miss Lane, whoa, whoa, she's going to be whoa, pretty whoa, upset. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he say library? He just said library. When could this have happened? He just said I library, no right? Idea. <laughs> I straightened up in there before checking yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Books everywhere, and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls. Did you? I locked the place oh, up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. Wow, a glory hole? What do you think they were looking for? The police? Wow, that's too bad. <laughs> that one. Wow, that's too bad. 
Well, can you recommend any other points of interest for me to check out? Depends on what you're interested in. Our special Gee, that's this too week bad. is the crazy old bird upstairs. Just follow your ears. The peck, peck, peck of that typewriter will lead you right to her. Hodgkiss, right? This is Hodgkiss. I'm gonna meet Hodgkiss. Sounds like you've had some sort of a run-in with this bird yourself. Well, this Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flap, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what she want me to do about it? I don't fucking know. Don't ask me. I'm literally paying to be here. Sounds like you're swamped. Is there any way I can help? What strange behavior? What strange behavior? I'm curious. I wonder if she Am I paying for this? To talk to me. Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, but he won't deliver them. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate Sounds to like ask an ego this, issue. If you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. I don't care about your feathers. Are his eyes red or is it just me? Can you do something about Can my radiator? Do something about my radiator? Sorry, not yet. So, how long have you been working here? A, A long while. time. <laughs> it looks like centuries. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. The voice sounds the Nancy voice sounds different. I understand it's this is same voice actor, but it's it sounds um it definitely sounds like early game. Like it, Nancy's voice wasn't completely squared away yet or something. It's interesting. It's it's cool. It's still great. Major figures and events of the French Revolution. Oh, fuck no. Oh, they had me back at guillotine. Is that a guillotine? They reeled me right back in. I already know about Marie Antoinette. I watched the movie by Sofia Coppola. How do you close a book in this game? I ain't joking. Y'all? Do I just have to con... No? I can't click anywhere. You have to go back to the first page and then turn... I can't even go back to the first... Okay, I went back to the first page. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's just... Oh! Ah! Let's just say... I'm glad they got the clicking a little bit better in the later ones. Oh! I'm not alone in here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? Okay, Lisa's a little bit too eager to gossip. <laughs> I haven't even told Lisa my name and she's like, Did you hear what happened? I wasn't here when it happened, but it ha happened. Okay, Lisa, look a little more suspicious. Did you hear about the thing that ha happened that I did not do? Yeah. Dexter just told me the library is a disaster area and that it's totally off limits. Too bad, huh? I'm dying to see what they did to it. Don't quote me on this, but I think Dexter has an extra key to the library somewhere around his desk. I guess you've really got your finger on the pulse around here. Any other castle scandal I should know about? Oh, we got scandal, honey. <laughs> Professor Hotchkiss is claiming she's been robbed. Lisa's an ally. Thing. But the real scandal She's an is ally. <laughs> His name is Jacques Brunet. Oh, tell me all about Jacques Brunet. What's the scandal with Jacques Brunet? Va va voom. Scandalous <laughs> cuteness, of course. No. Didn't you watch the last Winter Olympics? No, va va He's voom. France's big cheese of skiing. He holds the record for the 500 meter slalom, but he totally choked at the games. I guess he's washed up now. But at least his looks haven't gone down the tubes. Oh my god, go in, Lisa. Go in. 
So who's Professor so Hodgkiss? Who's Professor Hodgkiss? Oh my gosh! Wait till you hear this! Hotchkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. She Hodgkiss is literally just existing, and Lisa's outside with her ear to the door going, She's really gone off the rocker. I have to tell everybody. <laughs> her, her... Her verbiage screams ally, but the haircut screams hate crime. So I just don't really know what to think about Lisa right now. You said she's a professor. Do you know what she teaches? I'm really not sure. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Not this, not... <laughs> I'm doing it. Habla Espanol? Hardly. <laughs> I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? I would too if people like you were living outside the castle walls. You must know a great deal about this place. Not really, but I sure want to get into that tower that came from France. It'd be great for my story. Too bad Wickford sealed it off. Maybe it's his ghost making those creepy noises at night. What noises? Oh, just your average bump in the night sound effects. It's probably just Dexter trying to spook up the hotel for the publicity. I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. She's going to kill us all. That's what's going to happen. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Lisa's, Stay warm. Lisa's going to have a glass of Chardonnay and then murder us all in the middle of this storm. That's what's going to happen. She's going to go red rum on us. <laughs> that part. <laughs> Why is this the shining? The fucking shining. Can I even? I can't go in any of these doors. Look at the gra- <laughs> That's a like That's a lycra bodysuit. That's <laughs> That's a lycra bodysuit. That is not a suit of armor. That is not a suit. Of, that's me standing in the corner in a nylon bodysuit. Holding a foam spear. That I just came back from LARPing. Y'all taught me what LARPing is, by the way. <sighs> Live action roleplay? Did I get it right? I'm into it. I love it. Did I just come from here? Oh shit, I did. Just can't, all roads lead to Lisa. I got it right. I remember LARPing at a, my college had a LARPing club. Oh, here we go. What room is everybody in? I'm in 205. I think. Wait, my number doesn't fall between any of those. Wait. I must be on the other side of the hall. Let's go see if we can find Hodgkiss. Yeah, it's very limiting what you can click. That part. Oh my god, they really... Stereo sound effects, mama. It's locked. Well, knock on the fucking door.
That's just rude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was going to slide my letter to George underneath her door, but that's probably not a good idea. Well, I need to go down to the basement, I guess. What the fuck is this room? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, that part. That's a secret. Oh. Dead end. The devs ran out of ideas. <laughs> so this is just a little nook. Oh, wait, what's that way? Oh, that's the elevator. Okay. I'm gonna go down to the basement and get her shoes back. <laughs> what? I slap a $5 bill under her door. That's how you get her attention. That get my attention. Okay, basement? Oh god, I gotta catch up on these. Hold on. We'll probably do a stretch break here in a minute, I'm sure. This looks kind of modern down- no, not modern. Can I get an- <gasps> Not Aquaria! Not this predicting the winner of season what- was that season 10? Of RuPaul Drag Race? <laughs> right? Why do I say it like a... RuPaul's Drag Race? Like a baby. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So, what brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? <laughs> not, not the... Not the quotations around Wisconsin. Or around beautiful. Look at that middle part. We just had to wait long enough and now those are back. Bon jour. Je m'appelle Nancy Drew. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Nancy Drew. I'm here on vacation. What's your excuse? Uh, my excuse? Yeah, what brings a professional skier from France to Wisconsin? Why not Aspen or Lake Tahoe? I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. She's an American studying at the university in Madison, and I've asked her to marry me. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. What? Ah, so you came halfway across the world for love. That's a fine excuse. So... When's the wedding? Uh, uh, as soon as possible. Interesting. Are you the eager one? Or Hesitation. Is she... Do not ask me about the affairs of my heart, Nancy. Or I would think you were trying to steal it. But tell me, uh, how will Don't you spend worry your about time that. here, Nancy? L what is wrong with his bicep? Do you see on his right arm? It looks like he stuffed a pillow. A small couch pillow inside there. <laughs> To make his muscle look big. That's not accurate. That can't be real. That's not real. <laughs> he looks like he's keeping produce. Like he for like he's trying to steal a honeydew melon. I'm dying to have a look inside that library. I'm not body shaming. I'm just saying it's not it's not anything? real. Nancy, a pretty girl should not worry herself with this type of thing while she is on vacation. Uh, I should warn you, it's Dexter the misogyny is very protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. It's the misogyny for me, sis. Don't worry, Jean. This is a the firework last outside. I is get it's 2.30 p.m. on July 5th. Ah, oh, Nancy. Oh. Como va? I need to bring Professor Hotchkiss her boots. Do you have them? He does them? look like Dr. Strange. Yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing by the fire, sipping cocoa, Nancy. Not running errands for Dexter. Oh, I got the boots. 
Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila, I make these hot boxes for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. I've killed some people. Nancy's Lisa a told killer. Me you were in the Olympics. What was that like? Disappointing, frustrating, humiliating. Hmm. Sounds like one of those valuable learning experiences Twist the you knife. might never live down. Oh, you said it, Nancy. It was the worst day of my life. To fall flat on my face with my family, my country, and the rest of the world watching. Sounds like they picked the wrong person I'll to represent France. A bientôt. Ah, Nancy. Como ça va? I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Comment cava. I'm learning. I'm picking up on some French. Comment Kava. Oh, my locker is number 310. Hey, there it is. 517. Do you go this way first? No. That must reset it. Oh, I probably have to click that each time. Yeah. The combination is five, one, seven, but it's not working. So is that, that's, okay. She said it's not working. I must have done it right. All right, let's go yell it. Ah, oh, Nancy, como se va? Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't Look open. Look at his face. Hmm. Dexter must be confused, because I think that is the combination for number 311. Uh, try 311. Oops. I just broke the lid off my mechanical pencil. Ah! All right, crisis averted. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Who's Dexter? Oh, Dexter Egan. He's the front desk, right? Where do I poop? Oh, question answered. There's the bathrooms. This is not how lockers work, by the way. Drugs. What does that say? Shutter slug? Oh, this is Lisa's. <gasps> Her name is really Helen? Lisa is a Helen. Helen Carp? Tanya Lee Gooding? Tanya Harding? What is the truth? This is Seattle. What'd the other one say? Jacksonville? North Carolina? Gagged. Is that a coconut or is it a dead ball? <laughs> a dead ball. Not a dead ball. <gasps> Helen Carp. Alina Boyd. And what's the other one? Tanya Lee Gooding. All right. I I oh and this. Lisa Miyamiga. Quanto tempo sin ver vermo. <laughs> I could probably actually decipher some of this because Spanish is Spanish and German are the two languages I understand the most. Um, 
How are you? How is Wisconsin? Going to Seville. The is very big. Uh, something at seven. The food is delicious. And the drinks, too. Is that what that says? <laughs> the food is delicious and the drinks are, too? Um... Well, she said she didn't speak Spanish very well, so someone's lying to me. Someone lied to me several times. That sounds like... That sounds like, um, like what you write when you're in Spanish 2. When you're in Spanish 2 and you have to, um, set, write what your hobbies are. I like to eat and also to drink. <laughs> I like to eat things and also to drink things. Me on every Spanish She was writing. She had that Let's be real though. Big old, big fucking. It's oh. like the North Pole out there. The biggest fucking props to anyone learning a second language because let me tell you, that is the hardest shit. And nothing but respect for people who learn, try to learn, have any knowledge of a second language because that shit is amazing. All right, I have several people to talk to. In fact, several people to talk to. It's locked. All right, and did I go to the first floor? I went to the first floor. Let's talk to Lisa first, because she's all about the drama. You really gotta click some specific places. <gasps> Wasn't Lisa sitting here? I think that's where Did Lisa Did Hodgkiss get her boots? Oh. Not yet, Mr. Egan. <laughs> no, that's she's a shame. Been, she's been raptured! Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. <laughs> Bye, kiddo. Oh, not she got raptured. I'll take the stairs to the second floor. My Garmin says I need the steps. I kind of remember Hotchkiss lives over here. Oh, I should have... No, no, no. It is this way. I should have seen what room number it was, but... Yeah, it's the clacking for me. 214. Yes, hello! Is that Jacques with my boots? Actually, it's Nancy Drew. But I do have your boots for you. Oh, good! Uh, boots, fine! Uh, thank you, thank you. Everything is fine. Uh, just leave the boots at the door, please. Girl. Oh, and it seems I'm out of change. I'll just have to tip you the next time, Mandy. <laughs> Girl, if you need help in there, blink twice, okay? No tip is necessary, Professor Hotchkiss. I don't actually work here. My name's Nancy Drew. I heard your room was robbed, and I'd like to find out what was taken so that Mr. Egan can report it. Everything's under control, dear. Nothing to report. Thank you for my boots. My poor feet have been feeling so exposed. Does she wear her ski boots outside? I mean, inside? She wears her ski boots inside? Word. <laughs> okay, I gotta go talk to Mr. Egan. Oh my god, okay. It takes a while to turn around. 
Oh, that's the dead end. That's the dead hole. This way. Oh. Past it. Yeah, I'm definitely just like clicking on the screen wherever I can. Can I just leave? No. The game did say nobody leaves. Did Hotchkiss get her boots? Oh, was I supposed to slip? Not yet, Mr. Egan. Hmm. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. I don't know. Maybe do your own fucking job if you want it done. I'm not getting paid. All right. Time to slip these under the door. Oh. I guess they don't fit under the door. I just leave them in the hallway. Me cramming these boots under the door... <laughs> she just opened it and slammed it again. Work. Okay. There we go. Definitely just clicking. They were okay. I like purple. Can I help you? About my radiator, Mr. Egan. Do you think you'll be able to fix it anytime soon? Sorry, not yet. Hotchkiss called to report that she got her boots. But now I'm told that the light is out in the back stairwell. Could you check the circuit I'm breaker sorry. in the basement and make sure it's working? I'm sorry. First of all, I think the radiator is a little more important than the light bulb because the radiator is going to blow up the building. Some vacation this is turning into. Time to complain. <laughs> Time to start complaining. I will begin complaining now. Thank you very much. In this role, I will be playing myself, someone who regularly complains. And I will not be having to reach very far for the role. I should have stole, um, oh yeah, definitely a one. If I ever went to a castle and the inside of it looked like this, one star immediately on Yelp. This thing's built out of drywall. No, no, nothing wrong with drywall, except when a castle's built out of drywall, that part is the problem. Where was this thing burned out? I don't have a to-do list anymore. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's electricity. Turn them back on! <laughs> Wait! Breakers are all supposed to... Are they all supposed to flick inward or outward? Hey! That, what? I think breakers, they're either supposed to all point inward. Back stairwell. What's the back stairwell? I don't think I'm supposed to do this. I think I'm supposed to change a light bulb. But that sure was fun. Nancy just pulling levers. Elevator reset. Oh, that's cool. Now, where? The backyard? Back stairwell. Ski rental. Well, I'm going to do a little exploring as well. That's really what I'm into. Hello I'm really there, into... Dead end. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm really into exploring. I don't think these are dead ends. I think there's some... I think someone's shitting in the wall. In the wall. That's a stairwell. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. Oh, that's the thing that's out. So if I were gonna fix that. I can't read what that word says right here. Dump? That's a dump. Okay, dear chat, this is where you are allowed to intervene. 
only about what I ask. Dear chat, does this have to do with the thing or do I actually need to get a light bulb? Does that say dump? You live here? <laughs> this is the right place. You live like this? Me talking to every me talking to Mr. Egan. You live in this dump? You live like this? So this is the thing. Just guess and check each one. Ah. Oh. Well, it won't. It won't let me do all of them, which is good. Well, let me do that one. Well, it won't let me do exactly one of them. So I just need to flick a couple. It's too dark. It's too dark. I should take the elevator. <laughs> we'll try a couple at a time. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Nothing else. Just, I'm just doing this. Yeah, you just get pickle points just by being here. You just get them by being here and being active in the chat, I believe. Um, and I don't always have the rewards enabled, though. Oh. I fixed it. Yes? I don't want to pester you, Mr. Egan. I did it. <clears throat> the radiator. Oh, thank Thanks you for, for the dealing with the check, circuit though, breaker. Monica. Okay, we're <laughs> really making bit. progress here, kid. That. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. Can I say this part, but sarcastically? No problem, boss. He's going to call me an intern, an unpaid intern, and I'm going to have to sue him. I know how this plays out. I'm a millennial. <laughs> He's gonna call me an unpaid intern and I'm gonna have to sue him to get my money. Ugh, Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions. Who is it? It's Nancy again. Dexter needs to know what you want for dinner. No, oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Not candy. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But tell Baxter that I am developing a powerful craving for couscous. Who's Baxter? Yes, oh, Dexter. couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. You can't say Fanny. British people might be playing this game. That means something different to them. No, Hotchkiss, no. You can't say that. I said Fanny Pack once, and people got very upset. That's just what we call your butt in America, but that yes. is not what they called it. That's what y'all told me. <laughs> the professor says she has a hankering for, um... Couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Alrighty then. Where's Lisa so I can kill her? Is that my couscous already? Not this. Couscous, yeah, that's like a brand of cereal, right? I'm just, I'm just kidding. I fucking know what couscous is. 
Sorry, Professor, but there's no cookies yeah, in like the house. that's like Mix. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Ta-ta. No. If it were me at this point, I'd let her starve to death. I would let her starve to death. Suck up her protein globules or whatever the fuck she has and let her starve. Did you bring Hotchkiss a menu? Whoops. <laughs> I guess I forgot. Hmm. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. See ya, Mr. Eagle. There's one Bye, in my Carol. room, but I need it. There's one in my room, but it's mine. But it's mine, Mr. Egan. But it's uh, mine. What room am I in? I'm in 205. Okay, I was going the right way. In my room? Oh, my room can't be this far. Yet another dead end. No, no, no. I definitely passed my room. That's okay. Well, I love exploring. Oh, that might be my room. I don't know because I can't. That's 207. Is that 205? That's 207 again. That's 204. Maybe I have to go down one of these halls? Oh. Jesus. It's that's that one, isn't it? It's that one. Is my room 205? Dear chat, what's my room number? Or is it something that... It's too... So that's my... Did you think that's my room right here on the right? That's 204. Maybe it... No, now I'm on this side. What well, just banged? I can't. It doesn't turn red at all. <laughs> oh, that's 207. Is this 205? It might not be. I can't, I can't go anywhere near it, so maybe that's not 205. Oh, it's right next to, oh, it's right next to 204. Okay. Good God, I didn't even see this room. My fucking exploding ass radiator. It's either that or the explosive diarrhea. Oh, was it on the table? Where was that menu? Can I fix this myself? No. Was the menu over here? Dear chat, where was the menu? I thought it was here, but was it... It's in the dresser drawer. Oh, thank you. Perfect, thank you. You know, I kind of understand the layout. It's not awful. Oh, except that's the bathroom. And I hate this sound that happens in my room. Now, Hodgkiss actually lives... this way. Shit. Uh, did you get the menu? Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it to you? Oh, you're a <laughs> sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Nice and easy. No funny stuff. Can you die in this game? Uh, 
Who? Baby back ribs. Yes. Oh, chili cheese dog. This is me at Sonic. Oh, right. Bologna sandwich. <laughs> this is me ordering I'm at Sonic. I'm not usually much of a meat eater, but uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, <laughs> please. Chicken, that is. Cluck, cluck. We call it bulking. When I get fifty drumsticks, I tell people I'm bulking. Sure. Fifty drumsticks. Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. Rock and roll. Wow. She's hip. Oh, shit. You're shitting me. Well, I'm gonna snoop around his fucking desk, I guess. Time to eat some turds. Spell book. Oh, steno book. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be magical. See, there's a shooting star. I thought it was a spell book. Shoeless. Get Brunois to fix the boots. Oh, but refund guests who cancel. Snowplow, try to reach Christy. Change library alarm code. Change bulb. Get boots back. Replace filter and vent shaft. You sure it's not a spell book? He has a pen. Why does he have a pencil sharpener? That part. Time to steal the library key. That seems to... I can't click on anything on the sides of his desk. It just turns into this. Oh, can I take a mint? No. The game won't even let me have a peppermint. I can't go back there. Well, unless... No, I can't turn there. Okay, so that's just a roundabout. I don't even know where this freaking library is. I thought this was the library. <laughs> I thought that was the library. Is that not a, what a library is? Oh, those are the stair. Oh, there's another set of... Oh, fuck. Okay, that set of stairs goes all the way up and all the way down. Oh, I bet that's a library. It's locked. Oh. Oh. Guggle. <laughs> oh, shit! Do I need to hide? Oh, pretend you're looking out the window. Pretend you're looking at arch architecture. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'm supposed to be looking for the library. <laughs> oh! The library. That's right. You know what? Maybe we save the game. Maybe we go in anyway and see what happens. Not, oh, I should name it. Library. It was on his to-do list to change the library code. Oh, but I didn't get it. Oh, this is what the book was talking about. Fingerprint test kit. Remember fingerprint test kit? Oh, it can't be 323. Three. Yeah, this is where I need the fingerprint kit. I don't know. I guess I'll just look around. Yeah, this looks pretty trash. Uh oh. Well, well, well. <laughs> look who returned to the scene of the crime. You're out of here. What's didn't he you hear Dexter coming? Yeah, but I didn't snow? know what to do. I guess I just froze. It's not like you, Nancy. You always know how to make an emergency exit. Maybe you really do need some rest. Who can think of rest and relaxation when there's a mystery to solve? All right, I won't open the library. 
god. But do we know where... Do Am I supposed to know where Lisa is? I'm gonna go downstairs. Lisa? Helen? Jody? She really disappeared right after I found out that she's a scammer. These are just... This is just long hallways. Oh, we'll talk to, um, what's his name? Oh, wow. What time is it? Oh, it's 8. It's 8.30? Oh, yeah, that says it's closed. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed. I might head on to bed. Oh. Al the alarm button didn't work. Uh-oh. Do I need to reset it? Did I break it? What did I miss? Do I need to reset it? I remember there's a reset switch. I broke it? Oh. Man. Fuck all these things. Back in the locker room. All right, here we go. So the alarm just straight up breaks it? Oh, was that the crash we heard? Was the elevator? It's stuck. It's stuck. The elevator. <laughs> am I going to jump to that? What am I? Nancy, I don't know. This just turned into Spider-Man. I'm not sure if I can make it. Not with that attitude, sis. I'm not sure. Okay. Here goes. <laughs> not dying in an elevator shaft. What? It looks like someone pissed on this elevator ceiling, too. Someone's been pissing on this elevator. Now, what if I just, um... What if I just jump down? Oh, here we go. Alright, All right, fucking fine. That works too. I don't give a shit how I get there. I don't give a shit how I get there. It's the climb. Like Molly said. And my room is down here. I remember now. I don't know why they zoom in on 204. Like, I would want to go in 204. I would sue. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna go sleep and maybe blow up in my sleep in the fucking radiator room. I'm gonna call the police on this place. No? Okay. How about the operator? Um, I met Lisa slash Helen slash whatever. Wow. Um, the front desk and Hotchkiss. Oh, and the French guy. Is there more? Welcome 
to the voicemail system. Please press zero to retrieve messages. To leave the system, please press three. First message. To go to the next message, press two. To leave the system, please press three. Second message. To leave the system, Okay, that was useless. I still haven't mailed this letter to George. She better wake up for me. Hello? George, it's Nancy. Great timing, Nancy. Bess and I were just saying how we wish we were out on the ski slopes with you. Hang on, I'll get her to pick up the other phone. Hey, Bess! Our favorite detective's on the phone! Hey, Nancy! How's the vacation? The vacation? How's the vacation? That's not how you say that. These people really went on library and vacation on us. I guess I should have mailed the letter. How do you think the mail is gonna I pick up? I guess I should have mailed that letter. Not only do I have a blizzard on my hands, but I may have stumbled you think onto the another case, too. They barely the run when it's not a blizzard. <laughs> and one of the other guests says her room was robbed. Boy, oh boy! Have you searched the library for clues yet? Well, that's the thing. Dexter Egan, the caretaker, says it's locked up and off limits until the police can get here. But who knows when that'll be. That's funny, Nancy. I didn't know the phrase off limits was even in your vocabulary. Seriously, though. Don't you Read think her. that your dad's friend, Christy Lane, would feel better knowing that you're on the case, at least until the police can take over? She's right, Nancy. I mean, who knows what this Egan guy is all about anyway? Sounds like you're just gonna have to find an alternative entrance to that library. Here I go again. Just hope I don't have to slide down the chimney. And what about this robbery? Who got robbed? I'm not sure. The guest's name is Professor Hodgkiss. I think she's a bit eccentric. You mean weird? Nutso? A few sandwiches short of a picnic? God. Okay, you guys. I just mean that I'm not sure how reliable her testimony is. assholes. <laughs> yeah, but she'll probably tell you something important. Yeah, they're loud. Whether she means to or not. Some of the characters are very soft and some are very loud, and there's really no in-between. I met this nice woman, Lisa Ostrom. What's her deal? She's a photojournalist doing a story on the castle. She sure got me curious about that tower. Oh yeah? Does she know where the entrance is? I don't think so. Well, keep an eye on her, Nancy. Those photojournalists are born snoopers, you know. George, what? are you suggesting that Nancy is a second-class snooper? You're going to give our friend a complex. Oh, right. Like Nancy doesn't know she's the prime minister of snooping. Ladies, I need inspiration. Brain juice. A hint. They don't call us your trusty sidekicks for nothing. Where's my hint? I said I needed a hint. Help. I'm a little stuck. Isn't it about time you checked out the scene of the crime? I did. Help. I'm a little stuck. Isn't it about time you checked out the scene of the crime? Yeah, we can hang up. Okay, you two. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Ladies. <laughs> I guess I will go to sleep. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> it's 10 p.m. Now that is actually past my bedtime. But should I wake up in the middle of the night to snoop? I don't know. Do I ever get to eat? Someone stop that sound before I actually strangle someone. They did not just use that real ass alarm sound. Is this thing louder? Do I have like a set number of days until that explodes? Until the radiator explodes? I feel like I'm gonna have a set amount of time until the radiator explodes and the clock is ticking. This is the wrong way. Hey, do y'all think that there's treasure in the Royal Tower? That's the name of the game. Hey, do y'all think there might be treasure in the Royal Tower? <laughs> hey. No! 
Can I help you? Also in Wisconsin. Uh, we'll do the, the drumsticks. The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then, drumsticks we got. Oops, but I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Jock? Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiator's as good as fixed. Oh, nice. I was in the elevator and I got stuck between floors. I had to climb out the top and I just barely made it up to the floor above. Do you think you'll be able to fix it? Well, I doubt it's broken. I'll check the power switch in the basement. Glad you're okay. But don't go climbing around the elevator shaft anymore. It's dangerous in there. It wasn't my fucking choice. I was gonna die in there. Can I just give you the letter? Oh. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. If it isn't Nancy, can do Drew. I'll get on that radiator right away. But be sure to tell Jock to defrost the chicken, okay? Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Anyway. So, first things first, I need to go to Jock. <laughs> oh, wait, is Lisa down here again? What the fuck happened to her? I really found her fake passports and she really skipped down. Jesus. I wouldn't be surprised if we never saw Lisa again. I wouldn't be surprised if we never saw Lisa again. I can kind of run fast. What's the time on this shit? I can't see that far. This get okay. 9 a.m. Okay. Well. Well. <laughs> Maybe I should go reset the elevator. <laughs> I bet it's Crowmaster. I bet Crowmaster made this elevator. See, I'm in with the... I know the Nancy Drew lingo. Yeah, I have a clock, but I can't... That doesn't... Yeah, but that doesn't mean I can, like, make time go faster, right? It's not the thing that Hermione wears around her neck. What's Riesling? Is that a type of wine? Oh, Riesling Witherspoon? It's locked. Are you talking about Riesling Witherspoon? <laughs> it's locked. Tom Turner. It's locked. Tina Turner. a little bit of time with that joke. Killed my audience, too, with that joke. God, just... This whole place is a mess. I'm surprised there aren't bodies piled up in here. I'm gonna go to the third... to the second floor. This looks like the Library of Congress. Have y'all ever been to the Library of Congress? I have. And this looks like the Library of Congress. Except they have all these, like, literal... They have all these quotes written in the marble around the ceiling that literally look like... They look like things you would find in a fortune cookie. It's like... Fake it till you make it. <laughs> have y'all seen in the Library of Congress, it's like, live, laugh, love. One of them says, live, laugh, love. One of them says, fake it till you make it. One of them says, gaslight, gatekeeping, girl boss. One of them says, um, one of them's just a picture of, um, of a hydro flask. Is that you, Brandy? Oh, I'm glad you're here. 
at the moment, my theory is <laughs> rising like a magnificent souffle. I need to collect a few more ingredients, if you will. What the fuck's but happening it's here? A delicate situation. If I leave my room even for a moment, I fear the souffle will come crashing down in a heap. Does she blink? She hasn't blinked yet. She doesn't blink. You're cooking a souffle in there? Oh, don't take me too literally, dear. Oh, there what she's I need blinking. Is information about the castle. She's blinking Hard too numbers. much now. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that you are an enterprising and faithful soul. Therefore, I have decided to entrust you with this important mission. Who knows? If you succeed, I might whisk you away from the hotel business to be my personal research assistant. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I was just on my way to a big fluffy couch. <laughs> I am on vacation. I'm single you know, working. See. Well, I don't suppose oh, we have shit. anything further to discuss. Goodbye. Never mind. Not now, please. I'm trying to think. Unless you've decided to help me. I decided Can't to help. Do. Sorry. At your service. Marvelous. Here's what I need to know. Not counting the towers. How many windows are there on the face of the castle? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with. But please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer. Number of fucking windows? Yes. Did you find the information I asked you for? Sure did. Good, but I need you to write it down so I don't forget. <laughs> I just write, fuck you on this piece of paper. Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. No, that can't be it. It doesn't fit my calculations. You'll need to try again. If you know the fucking answer, why are you asking me? Unless you're just a fucking hater. If she knows the answer, why the fuck is she asking me? She can go fuck herself, actually. I ain't looking for- I'm not counting them goddamn windows on vacation. She's fucking- she's fucking out of it. She's fucking out of her mind. She's out of her goddamn mind if she thinks. If she thinks. Yes. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye. <laughs> Not this. Not this. Y'all, okay, I have a dear chat. This is just one thing I need to know. Dear chat, like, where is Lisa? <laughs> Dear chat, where is Lisa? Is Lisa dead? Killing trolls, thank you for the bits. This is scary. It is, it's wild. Not this Lisa in the chat. Oh, she's there midday. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank y'all. Shaney, thank you for the bits. Not this. Thank you so much. Exactly. Nancy doesn't need all these jobs. And I don't buy it that she's trying to be helpful. Well, I don't need the fucking elevator anymore. I know where the stairs are. Why would I ever take the elevator? I'm getting my steps in. It's like one flight at a time. It's not that big of a deal. All right, I'll just stand here until he opens. Uh, SCT, thank you for the bids. Not a cap full of Bud Light. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Egan does sound like a bat, like Batman impersonation. Definitely. Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits. And Rage, thank you. Yeah, that radiator really is like a white noise machine. And Brit Stabs, not Lisa's hiding in the, in the latex suit of armor. Thank you so much. Remember when, remember when the ski instructor just gave me, oh. Should be open. Oh! <laughs> ah, Nancy, como se va? Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh, la la la, what does he think I am? A sous chef! What's a sous chef? I'll talk to you later. That must bye be bye. French. What did he just say? I know what a sous chef is. Ah, Nancy, como se va? I'll talk to you later. Bye. He's a soup chef? I thought he was a ski instructor. I just want to piss y'all off. <laughs> Not 
Robin Hood from the hit movie Shrek. Am I supposed to tell Mr. Egan about this? I should wait until I'm alone. Did you see I fixed your radiator? Oh, okay. No. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. I'm gonna go back. He's gonna left a turd in my bed. Let's go see if Hotchkiss got her drumsticks. Yes! Did you find the information I asked you for? Not yet. Please, Mandy. I thought I said don't come back without some answers. I'm gonna put on my ski boot and I'm gonna bust down this fucking door with it. Oh, a sous chef would be a great drag name. I guess I'm gonna go to my room. Uh oh. Which is this way. Oh, but I'm coming from it from a different side. No, I'm on Hodgkiss's side of the castle. I live on this side. I'm remembering, like, stuff now. Like, I, I know where I am. It's just they really placed my room shitty, didn't they? Nope. Okay, there's one frame you have to click on. There's only one. Do I just not send? I just called George on the phone. Do I have to send her the letter now? Is that an all can? An all can? Oh, I thought I was finally going to pick up the knife. Not his lube. I don't understand why this game won't let me piss. I can't go in the bathrooms downstairs either. The game said no pissing. Oh, can I pour oil? I have an idea. If this were me, I would pour oil on the... I would pour oil on the library alarm. Duh. Okay, it's only 9.30. What I might do is I might take a little nap -roo. Or I can oil Hodgkiss's door and then bust it down. I need to talk to, um... I want to see if Lisa's here. No, piss girl. Oh my god, are you talking about the Gossip Girl meme? Get the fuck out. I think y'all are always surprised when I know memes, because y'all think I'm not cool, but I have a long board. But I have a long board, and I think y'all really, really need to remember that. Hi there, how's it going? I don't get to confront her about this. <laughs> the TikTok that shows for all the public bathrooms. Let me tell you, I used to have to go, when I was interning in New York, I would go to the bathroom in, is that Penn Station? What's the one by Madison Square Garden? That's the train I... I would sometimes use that train to go back to Philly, but most of the time I use the Bolt bus. Is that Penn Station? Penn Station? Those bathrooms are not the move. Let me tell you about those bathrooms that are not the moves. So, tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. It must be very glamorous at times. Well, there's nothing glamorous about the pay, I can tell you that much. Should I just confront her at this part? There was a little mix-up with the lockers, and I accidentally opened yours. Yeah, and? Is she gonna murder me? It seems you have more than one identity, Lisa. 
I'm just wondering if you are who you say you are. A savvy photojournalist always carries a couple of alternate identities, Nancy. When you're working under deadline, you don't always have time to play by the rules. I'm sure you know what I mean. She really has an answer for everything. Does your job take you to exotic, far-off places? Well, there is a lot of travel. Too bad I'm so useless with foreign languages. That's not the truth, Lisa. That's not the truth, Ellen. She kind of does. <laughs> She's got an Ellen haircut. I'm dying to find a way into that tower. Where do they usually hide the secret entrances and weird This is a suburban mom mansions? haircut, for sure. <laughs> I guess I should know, shouldn't I? Too bad most of the places I've covered aren't any weirder than imitation butter. I wish you'd hurry up and find it, though, so we can check it out. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. I could have killed you, Lisa. And nobody would have cared. Or should I say Helen? Does anybody know how many windows are in this place? Or do I... If I... I can't know that. I can't count that high. I need a to-do. I need a to-do list. Oh, maybe I should oil the elevator. I know what I'm gonna do. Y'all don't worry. The whole place is shaped like an H. I get it. It's locked. It's locked. Is this thing still fucking broken? Wait a second. Dear chat, do you actually have to count the windows? She'll give me a new question? She actually expects me to fucking figure that out? Okay. I get a new question. How do I get a new question? Dear chat, how do I get a new question? It's this door. Yes! Did you find the information I asked you for? Not do the math! Ask her to repeat the question. Uh, can you remind me of what okay. I'm looking for again? Hmm, uh... I, I can't seem to find that one. Perfect. Well, it, here's another one. How old was Marie Antoinette when she married King Louis? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with. But please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer. The book downstairs said it, but it's like 14 to 16, isn't it? Wasn't she like 16? How old was Marie Antoinette when she got married? Fifteen. Oh, no, no, no. Age fifteen. She was fourteen. He was fifteen. Wow. We love an arranged child marriage. Yes. Did you find the information I asked you for? Sure did. Good, but I need you to write it down so I don't forget. Um. Fourteen. Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. No, that can't be it. It doesn't fit my calculations. You'll need to try again. That's what Google says. How old was Marie Antoinette when she got married? So she married Duke of Berry, Dauphin of... Is it pronounced Dauphin? The Dolphin of France, age 15, to Marie Antoinette, Archduchess of Austria, age 14. I'm just here to fact check the game. That's embarrassing for them. <laughs> ah! He was a dolphin? She married that dolphin?
I mean, that's the T. Should I? I was, guess I'll say 15. Yes. Did you find the information I asked Which you is for? Not true. Sure did. Oh, Good, spell but it I with need letters? You to write it down so I don't forget. <laughs> Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. No, that can't be it. It that doesn't work. fit my calculations. You'll need to try again. Yes. Did you find the information I asked you for? Sure did. Good, but I need you to write it down so I don't forget. I guess we're just disregarding history in this game. Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. I guess... Eureka! If there's one thing I like in a young person, it's ingenuity. Now, I've got work to do. Time to stir the cauldron and stoke the fire. But if you'd like to talk... I'll be holding office hours in the lobby between 3 and 6 a.m. Meet me then. All right. I guess I'll go back to sleep until 3. Oh, it's time for my nappy anyway. Oh, I'm tuckered out. It's time for my nap anyway. Nancy's getting a lot of naps in this one. You're, you're, and we're on vacation. We should. They were so hateful when they put that sound in there. Uh, Killing Trolls, thank you for the bits. I'm glad you got to be here. I hope work goes well. Uh, Reba Mac, thank you for the gift sub and the... Oh, not the 323 three bits. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Rage, thank you for the biz. Glad you got to be here, too. Hope you have a good day. Oh, SCT. Thank you for the bits. And do I have any predictions? I... I have to say I don't yet. Wait. But what's... There's no mystery yet, is there? Oh, wait. Where'd she say her office hours are? In her room? There's no mystery yet, though, is there? What's the mystery? Oh, in the library. There's not a mystery. Oh, I got turned around. The library's on the... Oh, is it on the first floor or the second floor? If it were on the second floor, it would be... Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. It must be on the first floor. I never did reset that, did I? Okay. Well, we'll go down to the first floor. Clicking in this game is extremely cumbersome and not at all intuitive. You're doing great, Joe. Don't look at the chat. Oh, I never do. Oh, y'all know me. I'm just kidding. Wait, what happened? Did I do the clock wrong? Punch kiss? I poo poo my pee pee pants. Well, well, well. Ah! Look who returned to the scene of the crime. You're out of here. Oh, she said 3 a.m.? Did you hear Dexter coming? Yeah, but I didn't know what to do. I guess I just froze. It's not like you, Nancy. You always know how to make an emergency exit. Maybe you really do need some rest. Punch Who kiss? can think of rest can and relaxation change my when there's a mystery to solve? Can you change my diapy? Punch kiss. Punch kiss is like my mom. 3 a.m. in the lobby? Oh, I thought y'all said 3 p.m. in the library. I 
I have the Trixie voice from the latest uh, episode of her saying, Will you change my diaper? Literally in my head on repeat on a loop right now. Ufu, thank you for the biz. Speaking of shitting, I am so sorry to hear that. You know. Uh, my deepest sympathies are going out to you. <laughs> In this shitty, during this shitty time. Oh, I'm sending you good vibes though. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Um. Wait, did I not make it? Samantha, 420, by the way. Thank you for the bids. I appreciate that. And Killing Trolls with the gift sub. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, dear chat, what's the mystery? Because I didn't, I thought there wasn't a mystery yet. Is this the lobby? This looks like a lobby. Nancy, dear, welcome to the <laughs> witching hour. Isn't it marvelous to be up and about when others are sound asleep? Holy I find shit! My brain waves are at their most powerful during this time. Lay back on the white teeth whitening gel, sis. <laughs> oh, the vandalism. That's the thing. The vandalism. She needs to lay off the fucking teeth whitening gel. Holy cow, those chompers. Yes, this big old place does feel quiet at this hour. But do you think everyone is really asleep? I mean, if this is the only time you're away from your room, when else could you have been robbed? You're right on that. This is the only time that someone could break into my Her room. Her teeth are blue. But why are you so interested in this robbery anyway? Because I want to rob you next time. <laughs> you look rich. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm sad I didn't get to rob you. I'm thinking this robbery and the library vandalism might be linked somehow. If you told me what was taken from you, maybe I could put the pieces together. I'd like to tell you more about the robbery, but I'm afraid it just wouldn't be good for my blood pressure. I'm traumatized, you see, because the stolen item was a keepsake from a dear friend, and it was a cornerstone of my theory. I'm sure you understand. Have you checked your room for clues? Usually, the thief leaves some sort of evidence behind. Clues, you say? I guess I haven't really looked. Oh, I've been utterly embroiled in my work. What are you working on? Well, you probably know by now that I'm a scholar of French history. <laughs> my specialty is Marie Antoinette. Oh, poor Marie, the most misunderstood queen of the 18th century. Marie used to visit the very tower that now belongs to this castle. I'm convinced that this wait, wait. place holds wait, evidence wait, 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 that wait. will forever change the way the world views Marie. But the walls have ears, so I'd rather not say any more right now. Oh, if you're really interested, why don't you go up to my room and have a look around yourself? You've been such a great help to me, almost like an apprentice. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted an apprentice. Marie Antoinette used to visit Wisconsin. <laughs> Marie Antoinette lived in was was from Wisconsin. Oh, I didn't think those were waffle fries. I think those are the top of pies, but maybe they are waffle fries. I thought that was the lattice on pies. Wow, Professor, that's really generous of you. I'd love to learn more about your work, but are you sure you don't mind? Wait a second. I insist. Your mind is like a ravenous monkey gobbling up every banana in its path. Oh, oh. How can I stand in the way? Insert Here's my gay extra joke. pass key. I get back to work at 6 a.m. sharp, so just make sure you vacate the premises by 5.59. 
and put things back where you find them. It's all scientifically organized in there. Why the f I don't know which is more believable, if I'm being honest. That Mar I know Marie Antoinette didn't vacation in Wisconsin. But honestly, I don't know which of the two things is more dumb and unbelievable. That they imported the tower without looking for... Tr if you import a tower, you don't just put the tower on the boat. It's like when they had to move what? Did they have to move like Abu Simbel in Egypt because they were doing a dam or something? They cut it into pieces and relocated it. They would have taken the tower apart and then rebuilt it here. So they would have found whatever was in it. I don't think they let you just take towers. I don't think they what let you, you do that in Marie France. Antoinette was misunderstood. Everyone thought Marie <laughs> we just did ignored that part. Spend France's money on jewels and fancy soap for herself while her people were starving. History books have upheld the myth that she was just a spoiled and heartless brat, but I don't believe it. Yeah, let's empathize with the rich a little Why more. Why not? I believe that she's been the victim of vicious rumors and lazy historians for too long, and that if the real story could be told, people would realize that Marie Antoinette was actually a good woman who wanted to help her people, but didn't know how. <sighs> See you soon. Goodbye. <laughs> Any Nancy said, anyway. Okay, let's go up to her room and let's start some snooping. I very much remember which one it was because it's the loudest fucking room. Oh god, you live like this? You live like this? Okay, you know what? We're gonna explore Hodgkiss's room in the next episode. I think that's a really nice cliffhanger. I'll save it in my library game file. I think that's a great cliffhanger. Not <laughs> the spinning! Y'all don't just spin when you walk into a room. I had to see the whole room. I <laughs> just FedEx the tower. <laughs> I did that to y'all. Okay, um, we're about to play the outro. Uh, the Jenna Deblin. Thank you for the three months, by the way. I appreciate that. And SCT. Who can say? I think they're veneers. Thank you for the bits. I love it. Y'all, so far, I love this one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do some thinking. Obviously, it's not Hodgkiss. We know it's not Hodgkiss. That just leaves Lisa, the guy in the basement, and the front desk guy. I'm gonna do some thinking. I <laughs> check your PO box. I sent you a French tower. On that note, uh, thank y'all so much for being here. What a fun day! I'm loving this one. Uh, thank y'all for being here. Thanks for all the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all, the reason I get to keep doing this, and I fucking love it. I enjoy every minute. I will see y'all on Thursday with Bug Snacks and on Friday with Bratz. Girls really walk on the hit Nintendo system, the Nintendo Wii. Until then, bye!